Okay, chapter 2.6, modelling with quadratics. The last example was a projectile, so something moving through the path of a quadratic. Here, I'm going to be modelling the cross-section of a tunnel using the equation at the top. So if I'm asked to find the height of the tunnel at its peak, what I would do is try and locate the maxima of my equation. And the way we do it in this chapter is we complete the square. So we need to take a out, which is negative 1. The negative comes out of our quadratic. We complete the square, and we take negative 1, and we times it back in, changing the sign of both. The reason we've done this is if we make this bracket equal to 0, we get the height of the tunnel. We get the maximum value of h. That's what 25 over 4 is. It happens at 2.5. So D, 2.5, H is going to be 6.25. So we get the height of the tunnel as 6.25 metres. The next thing you might get asked about the same equation is, what is the width of the tunnel at its base? So what is this measurement? Well, if you remember from your quadratics work, where we cross the x-axis, these are called our roots, and we find them by setting f of x, which we don't have an f of x, we only have h, as being equal to 0. So we change h to 0, and we solve that. We get values of um, 0 and 5, and the difference between these values give me the width. So the width at the base of the tunnel is 5 metres. OK, finally, and the most difficult of the three parts to this example, what is the widest a 3 metre tall bus could be and still fit through the tunnel? So we draw our bus. We draw it knowing that it's 3 metres tall, and knowing that our answer is going to be the width of the bus, i.e. this blue line here, the difference between what will be d coordinates. So whatever the d values are, are going to be subtracted at the end. OK, so first of all, we want to know when h is 3, when our h coordinate is 3, what is each of our d coordinates? So we take h as 3, put it in our equation, and we move forward to solving that equation. You can see it's a quadratic, which is good. It's going to give us two different values for our distance. I'm going to use the um, quadratic formula. It's nice and easy. Make sure this number is always positive. It's a square number, so it should be minus 5 inside brackets if you're writing it out in full. Simplified third form, 5 plus or minus root 13 over 2. If I go on to figure out both of these values as decimals, I get what you see on the screen. If I subtract them, I get 3.605 and so on. 3.6 meters is fine. In fact, that number is exactly the square root of 13. And if you subtract the two numbers in third form, that's what you will get. So the distance, the, the maximum width our bus can be is 3.6 metres.